Congressman Byrne, thank you for joining me, number one. Number two, do you support this plan in its entirety, or do you think it needs to be negotiated or amended? Well, I do support the plan, but I think it could do with some amendments, and I think we're going to have a very orderly process to do that. Both committees met yesterday and today, completed their work. It'll be before the Budget Committee next week. Lots of people are still reading this bill. There's lots of discussions going on. So can it be improved? Sure. But we have all campaigned here on the Republican side to repeal and replace Obamacare, and we're going to do that. Is that form of that's being negotiated now? I'm confident those negotiations are going to work. So as it stands at this moment, you do not believe in it? You do not support it? I do support it. What I'm saying is, is that any bill can be improved, and there are discussions now about improvements to it. I believe those discussions are going to give us not only a better bill, but enough votes to pass it through the House comfortably. So the vice president is heading to Kentucky this weekend. That, of course, is the home of Senator Rand Paul, who is uh, pretty vocally against this bill as it stands at the moment. There are uh, ads going out targeting the 30 GOP lawmakers uh, who don't necessar aren't necessarily on board with this. As as it as of right now my question is is the party eating its own to get this bill through no I don't think we are you know democracy is a messy process unlike what the Democrats did several years ago this is all being done out in the light of day so you're getting to see how it actually works and how it actually works is that there's given and taken and back and forth and that's what we're going through right now At the end of the day we will have the votes we will pass this bill we'll go to the president it will become law yes, senator you said this is all being done out in the light of day uh, it passed through ways and means last night in the middle of the night uh, certainly not the Only light of day because of democratic obstruction tactics it would have passed yesterday in the light of day but for those democratic obstruction tactics, including some tactics there on the floor of the House. So, you know, this, the, oh, it only happened tonight because bill, of that. Obama's health care bill, uh, the Democrats' health care bill, uh, took, I think it was about 14 months for it to pass. It went through a number of committees, had public hearings. Uh, this is uh, intended to get passed in, uh, in just a few weeks. So do you really stand by this notion that it's being done in the light of day with everybody oh, yes. on board? Some of your Republican Absolutely. senators don't believe it is. Uh, oh, no, I, I completely disagree with any idea this hadn't been above board and completely out there for people to see. We've been talking about the principles for this bill for months now, and there have actually been drafts of bills out there. I co-sponsored one of them. They've been out there for more than months. So there's nothing really that new here. There are details that have been worked out in the last couple of weeks, but the actual principles of this piece of legislation have been discussed for a very long time and we're giving everybody plenty of time to read two bills will be put together next week they're about 130 pages whereas Obamacare was over 2,000 pages many of There's those pages of though were just were references this. back to the original health care bill the, the health care bill that was passed in 2009 and 2010 was over 2,000 pages. The 130 pages that are being used to repeal and replace it are all that's needed to get the work done and give the people of America back their freedom and their choice and their health care. Are you saying because your bill is smaller that means it's better? Yes, because it makes things simpler. It gives more freedom and choice to people. When you're about freedom and choice, you don't need 2,000 pages of laws. You can keep it short, and you can get to the point and get the job done. Let's talk about the people who this is going to affect. A few days ago, you had a town hall, um, and I want to play you a specific question from one of your constituents. I'm concerned about the existing conditions. So my question for you is, Will you promise me tonight that you will not vote in favor of any legislation that would allow insurance companies to once again discriminate based on pre-existing conditions and impose annual and lifetime limits? Okay. For people who don't have insurance right now in the future that might have a pre-existing condition, we're going to have the state high-risk pools that the federal government is going to subsidize. You know, it didn't sound like anybody liked the idea of high-risk pools. I think the bottom line here is that, and it's not just you that, that's getting this sort of pushback, it's um, lawmakers uh, across the country when they're holding town halls. People are scared. They're scared about their own health care, they're scared about the health care of their loved ones, and they're scared that this bill is going to make it harder for them to get the health care that they need when they need it. How can you assure your frightened constituents that they are not going to be put in a position that they're not going to get the, the health care they need when they need it. 
Well, let's start with where we are right now, which is that these exchanges are failing all over the country. We have one carrier left on the exchange in Alabama. They happen to be continuing to lose money on it, even though they've gone up on their premiums. So if we do nothing, what I can assure my constituents that are perhaps on this plan is they're going to lose everything. So for them, I want to make sure we have something in place that will continue some sort of health care for them that will work. And for that young mother that's from Fairhope, I can assure her, as we've assured her since that meeting, that her young son who needs care will continue to be on that insurance plan that's working for them. 